I am very sorry. I don't mean to hurt you. You know, you were trying to resist. That was why it was rough. Anyway, but this time, I'm, I'm going to be soft and smooth. Okay? Oh, it smells the same. truthful to yourself that this is not what you came for. You see, after six years I enjoyed you, I still can't forget how sweet and succulent you were. <laughs> I'm going to be soft. Just soft. I know you are more matured now, okay? Yes, what is that and who are you? Good afternoon, Pastor Eugene. Yes, good afternoon. I am ASP Dan from the Pelemet Division of the Nigerian Police Force. So, how may I help you? Well, your confession on the rape of Miss Biendu Ibekwe six years ago has been documented and has been submitted as evidence. When we trust, we give our hearts out to people who could either keep it, rule it, ruin it, or even read it. And it doesn't take too long a while before we realize that in this ever-widening confusion called life, trust could be foolishness. Did I say could be? It's naivety. In a world where wisdom is seen in wells and measured by treasury and hypocrisy, those who trust genuinely in doses become crusty, ingenual, and broken. A trust betrayed is like a diamond lust, like throwing away a freely given artwork of a dead shark like the dog eating the bone hung on his neck. Trust is sacred and rare. To betray it is sacrilege. Yet, sacrilege has become a vogue of today's world, where scruples are scrappy. Yet, I search for the heart, empty of hate and treachery to connect with mine, to mine the field of love. Do you mind if I join you? Is, um, is there by any form of chance that my tune plays to your poem? Please, can you not disturb me? I've heard your voice. It's lovely. I was wondering if we could maybe do a do it or something. Do it. You don't even know me. Uh, actually, I do. Who told you my name? Well, I'd really love to tell you that and a whole lot more things. Okay, but I'd like 
decide to do that the next time. I didn't give you a chance to see me today. Oh, that's um, serendipity. That's one. Yes. Yeah. But next time, I wouldn't want to. I would not want it to be like that. I want us to agree on a more convenient day and time. And I believe that that will help me to a step closer. I'd like to call you. <laughs> Look, if you know my name, I'm sure you must have heard a lot of things about me. Well, I'm thinking that's more reason why we need to meet again, right? I'd love to hear a lot more things about me, but this time I'd like to hear them. She hasn't been calling me. Maybe she's tired of me talking about her deviating from her Christian life and all that. Maybe not. I'm sure she doesn't want to disturb her old man from her with her personal troubles. When a child begins to avoid his or her parents, it means that that child is keeping bad company that will shift her away from the focus of Christ. Not really. We speak, we share the Bible verses, and I strongly believe she has not deviated from the Christian principle we instill in her from childhood. Amen. I pray so, because it would be very unfortunate. Everything points to the closeness of rapture. And I would not want my daughter to miss out on this. <laughs> she will not miss out. I pray so. I like him a lot. He gives a different vibe, you know, like I've not felt this way for a guy in a long time. It's like he sees me, you know, he makes me laugh from the bottom of my heart. Like I laugh from my heart. I <laughs> mm -hmm. I really like him. Love is in the air. Stop. Love is in the air. Stop. He loves a beautiful thing. But I'm scared. What are your fears about? You might take me for granted. You know. Mm -hmm. Will you be there for me when I'm vulnerable? Will you love me unconditionally? Will you fight for me? Will he be that man that I want him to be? Yeah. But there is no way you will even know about all of this. There's no way you will know if he's going to be all that if you don't give him a chance. I've had several heartbreaks at my age. Yeah, I know. Broken relationship. But still, you can still give it a try. Who knows? You might be the one. Guy, guy, your baby's here. <laughs> Go and enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs>
I just forgot I had a digital. Ah. Come now. Come and stay with me now. Come on now. Ah. How are you today, Mr. Izu? I'm on board. How are you? I'm fine, and you too? Oh, I see you're jogging. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping fit for Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how is your daughter, uh, uh, Biendo? She's fine. Very fine. And that lady, she is beautiful. She has the smoothest voice I have ever heard. I hope she uses it to serve the Lord. Well, yes, I keep praying every day and pray that the world does not get her. Amen. So, and uh, she has not been coming to church for some time. Well, she's in the university now. You know how it is. So much work and all that. Time consuming. Oh, Mr. Isubet, that's not enough reason to leave things of God. Well, I'm sure there are fellowships on the campus where she will join the praying. Amen. Well, uh, 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 we will be needing her from time to time. Please tell her to come to church. I'll try. <laughs> All right, take care of yourself. <laughs> it's Coke bottle shape. Right? Well, yes, there's that. And then more than that, she's got brains to go with it. Beauty with brains. She's got a great character as well. And I was just wondering, I was like, the guy that was going to get married to this guy, like, that guy is really, really lucky. Like, he's the luckiest guy in the world, because, I mean, everyone. No, no, I'm, I'm not what sure. nonsense are you spewing from your mouth? Like, what nonsense? Is this how you disrespect me, your girlfriend? Do I look cheap to you? You sit down here and blab about her and like, oh, she's intelligent, beating brains. So I'm the dumb one now, ugly, right? Oh, please just shut up, you philandering bastard. Whoa. Nonsense. Go and meet her. Bullshit. I don't know what to think of this. Take your money. Madam, please give me a complete money. Uh, but it's 700 naira we are agreed now. When I stopped you, I told you that this is all that I have. You told me I should enter. So what are you talking about? Take your money. But I'm here in Otto. Eh? My money is on top. Imagine the distance you took me to and I brought you here for 700. Madam, give me my money. Eh? Make me and you not get problem for this place. I just go wait, 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 wait. But wait, wait, wait. Is it not what we are agreed that I'll give to you? I told you I don't have any other money in my bag. That this is the only money that I have. You told me to enter. So why are you doing like this now? Take your money. Let me go. Wait first for my motto. My motto. You chop my money, oh. In fact, you won't chop my money. You won't cut the shine eye for my for me. See this thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is not fair. Now you want to harass me because you are a man. Because you are a man. Is it not what we are agreed? Please just give me my one thousand naira. This is what I have. Joe, if you like, do anything that you want to do. You told me that you are going to take seven hundred naira, and that is all that I have. So take your money and leave me alone. What is wrong with you? embarrassing for a young girl like you to be fighting in the streets and with a cab driver it's so shameful when he picks me up we agree 700 naira 700 naira only for us to get here he, he said he wanted more what was i supposed to do why is everybody blaming me why is the head blaming me for everything? What did I do wrong? There is absolutely no reason for a young woman to always be involved in street brawls. The news round town is that you are not in good times with anybody. You really need to work on your temperament, you know. Oh, what was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? 
I told him that all I had was 700 naira. I don't have any other money in my bag. He said I have to give him more money. Where was I supposed to get the you money? You should have avoided any scene with him. Allow him to cheat me. Allow him to take advantage of me. What was I supposed to do? I'm sorry. Hmm? I am so sorry before you turn all your frustration on me. Guy, what's wrong with you? That's when you are behaving as if the world is about to crash on your head. Go and beg your girlfriend you will not accept. You're going to die, yo. Guy, you know I'm just drop it. What are you talking about? What would I understand? That there's a friction between you and your girl. No more thing. And you know that you are here sulking as, like, like a small boy who just threw away his last pocket money. I don't like what you're doing to yourself. Listen, there are two ways to this thing, all right? If you know, if you know you still love this girl, go and beg her. Humble yourself and beg her, yes? Beg her. But if you know you don't love her anymore, come on. Act and stand like a man and do the right thing. Don't like the way, well, don't like what you're doing to yourself. It's your pattern. Let me just, just, just keep quiet. It's, it's what you say all the time. You, 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 you threaten, you, you rake, you, you, you say this, you say that. At the end, I will see you playing guitar. Besides, that is, I hope you've done your assignment because uh, I, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Just do the right thing. You don't want to do the right thing. You're sulking like a kid. I've heard you have a kid. No, you, uh, you to do... Okay, fine. I'm just concerned as a friend. Just getting along, getting to know each other. Um, she's just a friend. Okay, we're just coming along as friends. Okay, we're not dating. Just don't have any ideas <laughs> in your head. Just know Okay, the end one and Chica. <laughs> that would be lovely. But do you know anything about her? Yeah, I think I know all I need to know. Basically, you know, I know she's got this huge interest in arts. Okay, I think that's all got in common. And also, she knows how to play some keys on the piano. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And she's got this really beautiful voice. Oh gosh! I mean, when she's in the mood on a good day, she can have demons skittering away, you know, or have the angels falling. It just depends on the mood. So mm -hmm. that's something. Okay, and you haven't found out that she's one of the most ill-tempered girls on this campus. Very loose and badly behaved too. And when did you have time to come around this, whatever, this observation that she's the most ill-tempered person on campus? Everybody knows that. I mean, she falls in and out of relationships like a whore. Mm. Well, <clears throat> she's my friend, okay? And for me, I think that is all that matters. Mm. Do you get Thank I you. wish you the best of luck. <laughs>
Yeah, but mm, though some critics think it's um, it's callow, but I like it. Well, you said it is his debut yeah. and he's self-published, so I'm not surprised. Okay. <sighs> Forgive it. my thoughts. It's the title of the poem. Listen and be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious deeds, wonderful consequences, many interpretations, little corrections, assuaging moments, aggravating dawn. Mm. Well, I think you should have read something like this in order to assuage, sometimes you aggravate. Mm. Okay. Intelligent girl. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe the revised edition will see something like that. Right? Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, don't worry. Continue. Alright. Um, <clears throat> Love is but a natural mystery. Hard to comprehend. Rare to be solved. A riddle of the heart with a little lot of meanings to the hearts that feel. Differences in thoughts, contrasts in meanings, but same in feeling. So I had thought fast and straight, emptying my thoughts, hiding no feeling. Have I just offended whom I should fence? Have I disappointed whom I should fulfill? Where and what is the secret of this sweet trauma? Battering my heart and taunting my life. Whatever it is and however it came, it is not an act done willfully but a thought innocently. To help my living and assuage my heartaches, it should but only forgive my thoughts. Can I have an encore? Do you want more? <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of the poetry. That was so good. Um, what's your favorite contemporary musician? Who who mm. is your favorite contemporary musician? That'll be Fouls. Fouls. Yep, Why? I consider him to be a. Uh, I consider him to be a reincarnate of, or let's say, better still, successor. Of the great fella and Nicola Bocotti. I beg to differ, but I mean, <laughs> you were not even born when fella reigned. Yeah, I must not have been born. I mean, that's something about good artistry, right? I think good art outlives its creator, and a good artist never really dies. Yeah, I mean, uh, fella was much more than a musician. You see, he was a prophet. That's he right. was a philosopher, mm -hmm. all right? He was queer, I agree, okay? But I think he used his creative ways to promote and advance his art and protests. And I think that counts for something. I beg to differ. Quite frankly, I mean, yes. See, yeah, I totally understand the fact that... Here's the fact. Yeah. I love Fouls. Okay. I love him. I love his music. But there is a clear cut difference between his music, which is purely entertainment, and the person that he is. Yes, we understand that he's an activist, but him being an activist and his music being entertainment does not make him like Fella. If you had to measure up somebody, maybe a Bonner boy, because of his Afrobeat flavor in music. Okay, I think I think where we have a little bit of a of a gap. I mean, wait, wait, he sings Afrobeat. Where are we going with here is? You're talking about measuring up. I didn't say Fouls is trying to measure up to fella. Alright? I'm thinking actually that's a strong point. The fact that he can stand out. I'm thinking that is what really makes a great artist. The fact that you can stand out. The fact that you can get your audience. You can get your audience to crave, to listen to your madness. 
Yes, you know, the, 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 the rebellion in entertainment and all that it does, things like waking this slumbering generation of ours and having their eyes to pop open again to a tune or using a tune and getting them to realize that there is more to those people who call themselves leaders, getting them to see that those people are more or less just fake. Be careful because you could be arrested for terrorism. I better still, I better be arrested, but I just gotta see my own truth. That's it! Bindu. I'm your mother. That means I am more experienced in life. You see men, I know them better than you can. Because as you get older, you will get to meet those roads that I have passed. You will weep those tears that have dried up my face. Mom Chica is different. I've had a couple of experiments with guys and I must say that he's different. Mom, he's genuine. And he truly cares. Even though he's an artist, he compliments my taste in music. I mean, as an artist, I know he writes fictions, but he speaks the truth. The heart of an artist loves deep. Artist, my foot. As long as I know artists, they are poor, smooth-talking cheat. They will read you poetry when all you need is spiritual guidelines. They will tell you fantasy stories of wealth and happiness. When in their real world, they are poor, sad, and unfulfilled souls. Chica's guitar strings the beat of my heart. Bindu, you're just for the child. You will come over this obvious infatuation. Come on, you have a guy to Us, 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 cool late. Us cool late. I bet come on this thing, you know, they for this thing. <laughs> come on this thing, they waste my time. Come on this thing. Oh, God, check out school. now. You know, they come on time. You like waste my time. Check come first now. You know, you, you, you know go feed day. I know, I know your pattern. You want, you want, this one, I'm, I go check him now. I contest it. <laughs> this one, I contest it. Check us cool, us cool from where? All this us cool late. Can't uh, deceive me. This thing. Check out. What are you saying? Check out, I need your... Oh, it's late. It was awful. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Lover boy! I know saying that this kind of word, you go, Sabi. You know what? I'm going to play a game. Okay. You be like, say, that guitar way they play, don't produce or school it for you now. Make I decimate you. <laughs> I don't know who I be. I will emasculate now. Don't <laughs> okay. Mm. I'll go come from. This thing. Uh, Chica. You know, say, you be lucky guy. Why do you think so? Uh -uh. Which guy on campus wouldn't want a biendo? Why? Biendo for a girlfriend. This girl is smart. She's intelligent. She, above all, oh she's God, calm. Relax, let me get her my name. <laughs> now go give me now. Isn't that good? You now could I'm pass her now. You know where? I'll be your guy. You don't see come on here. If you tell me photography, you're a mask. For national peace. You know where? <laughs> you, know, you don't get sense. You know what? You know, okay. Seriously, you know everyone calm down. Zee, you're going to be a better chick. I don't even know what's in the day with her. If you really calm down, just pamper that girl as she's supposed to. Give her TLC. Normal, not a nice girl. But your head always there everywhere. Zim, Zim, go understand TLC. 
<laughs> okay, that's girl. No, that girl sometimes I face. I don't understand. She's a vex sometimes. No, you, but mm -hmm. I think say I'm going to I go listen to you this time around. No, no, no. Because see how your life take the organize. So maybe you see me enter my life too. Things go begin happen. <laughs> okay. I know so now the guitar way they play, give you a school late. Make I run you local now. Let me decimate you now. My grades are getting poorer and poorer. I'm losing sight of my dream of becoming a musician. My whole world seems to be crashing. Hmm. That you've not had a successful relationship doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It can all be your fault. Bindu, okay. you're my best friend. You see, we fight and fall out often. You're my best friend. We fight and we fall out often. Yet, we find a way to steal makeup and maintain that item that people envy. Yes. That's because you understand me. But most people can't even tolerate me. I'm not special. I'm just a human who understands that people go through stuff. Some torturous, some pleasing. That's just it. I'm constantly seeking validation. I'm not getting any. I'm losing it. Not to worry. I mean, you go on. There are so many fishes on the ocean. Uh, Franca, Franca, please. Okay? Could you spare me all of this and mind your business? Oh, really? 
I thought cousins were supposed to look out for each other. Or maybe not today. I'm sorry. I didn't know I was disturbing you. Rita, your result is good. But unfortunately, you cannot go to the university. Why, mommy? I want to go to the university. I want to become a chemist. Look at your sister. She's not living a good life. She has strayed into the world. She's like a lost sheep. And your daddy, he will not risk any of his children in the university again. Mommy, you can talk to dad. You can make him understand that I'll I'll be different. I won't disappoint. Your sister didn't give any indication that she was going to stray off. But look at her. She's in the world. She now fights. Play with men. She doesn't even pray anymore. She's barely in church. I'll be different from Biendu. I'll be different. I I promise I will be. My daughter, the most important thing is for you to make heaven. You need to make heaven. And university doesn't guarantee you that. Mommy, I want to go to school. I want to go to the university. I want to go to the university. You can get anything you want at any time you want it. Oh, God. God, help me. <sighs> you know, two people that I love sometimes uh, feel vulnerable. Uh, yeah. You know, sometimes they feel they are falling too uh, deep uh, and too fast. And they have to retract. Uh, Those are the insecurities that come with love. Uh, that's no big deal. Get your hands off me. You see, are you not tired of lying to me? You 
call yourself my friend. And you keep telling me lies. <laughs> you are a terrible friend. Horrible. Tell me I'm terrible. Tell me I'm stupid. Stop being a bad friend. Okay. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Will you let me marry your brother? Hmm? Will you? <laughs> Is it again? What? I think our daughter is slipping into unrighteousness. God forbid. Not my daughter. She's losing her soul to the devil. She hasn't been like this. She was our best child. Have you tried to think what must have cost us? <clears throat> I'm beginning to think that is this university that she's attended. It's it's taking over her. If I'd known, I would have allowed her to go to the university. Come to think of it, after her degree, what would she want that I would not be able to provide? I don't think it's the university. I don't think so. Do you remember when she started being moody? She started being moody. She detached herself from us. And she lost interest in everything that has to do with church activities. She lost interest in everything. Even before she gained admission into the university. Suddenly, she developed this coldness towards Pastor Eugene. Yes. She doesn't want to hear anything about him at all. That's the devil at work. Hey. And you know, I saw Pastor Eugene and he was saying that I should ask her to come and see him whenever she's on holiday. She doesn't want to hear anything about that. That's the devil deceiving her. Please, you have to sleep. You have to go to bed. Sleep, please. 
Don't let it disturb you. Mm. And God will take control. Amen, oh, amen. Oh, sleep, please. Sleep. Sleep. broken. Nothing interests me. I'm so quarrelsome. Hardly trusting of anyone. Sad for flimsy or no reason at all. Yet, I want a better life. I want to be happier. I want to relate better with friends. I want to have a relationship that endures. It all seems so distant and far between. I am dead tired of this whole mess of a life. A fight today, a breakup tomorrow, and another roller coaster ride of a love affair that never lasts beyond the ride. And I was that vivacious young girl everyone admired with dreams to own the world.
depression. Mm, depression. Debilitating state of the mind. That would only cripple the beautiful pack of potentials and so on. ABBN, please open up, please. Baby Bian, I have something for you. Could you just please open up? Listen, I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, I should have tried to understand you. No. It's all my fault. But you keep coming back. I know, okay, but yet I should have still tried harder to really get to understand you better. Okay, but I promise, I promise you. And I'll do my best. And going forward, I'll understand you better, baby Bien. I know deep down inside of my heart that you're a kind woman. Okay, and your intelligence, you're beautiful. No. No. I'm a horrible person. I'm erratic with my behavior. I don't even understand myself. So how do I expect other people to understand me? Baby Ben, you're not horrible. Okay, you're not horrible, not at all. You're beautiful. You're intelligent, okay? And trust me, you are my queen. Baby. I'm a horrible person. Don't you see the way I torment you? I don't even deserve you. to be locked up in this prison of narcissism. All these pictures you're painting of yourself, they are so false. Okay, I know what you are, and you are my queen. But well, my queen, that is just being misunderstood. No. That's it. I am no better than the lunatics on the street. take every step of the way with you until you heal. Okay? Dear Z, you've been a true friend and a sister since we were kids and You've stood by me more than anyone I know. Zimuzo, I must tell you that my life hasn't been the same since the incidents with Paso Eugene. If there's truly a God, I hope to get some answers from him. I love you, Zim. And in my next world, I would like to have you as a friend again. Take care of Rita and please do send my love to Chica.
Chica. Chica. Oh, what? Why, why are you yelling my name like that? It's, it's Biendu. She's in the hospital. And so how's that with my business? Biendu is in a critical condition. She escaped death by the whiskers. Oh, isn't it even better she just dies? Isn't it just better she just dies so she could just read this world of a nuisance? Because we're all tired of it. Chica, she's been calling your name since she regained consciousness. Oh, she, she, oh, she wants me now to join her to the grave. <laughs> Is that it? She wants me. I am not available. Tell her that I, Chica, I am not available. I am done with her distractions and her tortures. I'm tired. Chica. What? Listen, just, just don't, in fact, just go. Just go, go away, because that's what you are. You're just an enabler of a witch. You're an enabler of a witch. I'm tired. Listen, I've had it up to here. I've had it up to my neck with all these things, you guys. I've had it up to my neck. I can't, I can't continue. If I continue like this, I'll sink. Can't you just see? I'll sink. Wait. Wait. Did you? Did you see a hospital? Critical? What, what, what happened? Bien. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fall for this. Not this time. He's one of our tricks. I'm not going to fall for a trick again. Okay, I'm wiser now. I'm smarter. I'm smarter now. I'm smarter. Just let me be. I've searched for him everywhere that I know. I didn't see him. It's obvious he traveled out of the city. Have you called his number? Yes. His lines are switched off. No. No. Chica. Chica. It's okay. Chica. Who is this chica she has been asking of? He's my friend. Chica, where are you? I hope he's not responsible for my daughter's pain. Where are you, Chica? Chica? You are certainly not serious. What, what exactly are you talking about? Really? Why don't you understand me, dummy? You've just chosen not to understand me. Why don't you get about what I'm saying? I am tired of this back and forth. Listen, my friend. It would be very, very, very irresponsible of you if you abandon your girlfriend on a sickbed under flimsy excuses. You know you're being callous right now as a friend. You're being really callous to say that. Haven't I told you many times what this girl has put me through? See, I understand the whole story. But right now, your girlfriend is in the hospital, critical after attempting suicide. If you don't listen to me now, maybe by the time you are taken to the police and arraigned in court, huh. your lawyer will tell you what it means to be a vicarious responsibility. Oh, really? Oh, well, be oh because, yes. Because I'm the reason she, she, she wanted to commit suicide. Is that it? Is I'm that a, the reason? Oh, is that what you're insinuating? No. Okay. How many times will I tell you that this girl is sick? Oh, well, yes, she's sick, but I am not a doctor. Neither am I a shrink. A man in love, my friend, is both a doctor and a shrink. A can't, a woman in love is what? Uh, maybe a mother and a nurse. Oh, well, but she's neither of them. She's not any of that. Rather, let me tell you what she is. She's a knife. She's a pain. She's, she's, like, she's a lunatic. That's what Biendo is. That's what she is. Yes. Why don't you give us girl an appointment with a clinical psychotherapist? That is the duty of a friend. That is what you should do.
I was wondering what could make a, a young lady of her age do so much violence to herself in attempts to commit suicide. Do you have any idea? Doctor, my child was well brought up. She was a confident and brilliant child. All of a sudden, when she was about 17, something seemed to have snapped off her head. And my child became everything she wasn't growing up. Okay, so did you try to find out what, what happened? I mean, the reason for the changes, did you try to know? Doctor, we tried. My husband and I were born again Christians, you know. Yeah. We prayed. And we'll continue to pray. We'll continue to pray for God to take her back to her own obedient self. But it seems the demon, it seems the demon disturbing her is so strong and formidable. But we believe, we believe she will eventually get her healing. Oh. That's so serious. Very serious, Doctor. Doctor is so serious. We are in the last days. The devil and his demons are roaming about, seeking for whom to devour. My husband and I taking it as our fate, as part of the temptation that the children of God will pass through before getting into the kingdom of God. <sighs> oh, Madam, I am very sorry. This is too much and I am sorry for it. Sorry about this. You know, I wrote you a song, a really lovely one. <laughs> You're gonna hear it when you wake up. You're gonna love it. <clears throat> good evening, ma'am. Doctor, good evening. Gentlemen, you must be chicken. Yes, I am. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. We'll be needing you to help us solve some riddles here. Uh, riddles, I, I don't get. Ah, don't worry. It's some, something to be worried about. Okay. okay, you are the artist that my daughter has been talking about. The one that led her life astray. And you almost cut her life short. See you, you're going to pay for it. You will surely pay for ruining her life. Madam, your daughter, she's not a minor. Please, let me handle this professionally. Your daughter is not a minor. So please just um, allow me to handle this professionally. Thank you. Eh? Madam, I would like to see your husband, her father. 
He has gone to the mountain to pray. But his daughter is in the hospital. Please try to let him come. What do you think you're doing? No respect. Even in presence of her mother. I'm sorry, I just wanted to get her to sleep. Just distract her. Just pray her father doesn't meet you here. Yes, I am. Okay. I am Superintendent Kabusa. And I have the directives of the Commissioner of Police to arrest you. Oh, to arrest me for what, actually? Well, if you must know, you're under investigation for attempted murder, robbery, illegal imprisonment, and so you have made complaints against me. Bro, what, what, what? Wait, hey, listen, wait. wait. What is my offense? What's this about? So, have you heard about our friend? Which of our friends is that? Biando, of course. What about her? Well, she would have been dead by now. Franka, please cut the joke. Dead? Like, what happened? An accident or something? Now, wow. Are you the only one on this campus who hasn't heard that Biando survived an attempted suicide? Suicide? <sighs> that is extreme, you know. Beauty and wealth are not guarantees to a happy and fulfilled living. <sighs> oh. Congratulations. Bendu survived the poisoning and She's convalescing well. Thank God. Uh, depression is a mental health disorder. While I was doing my best by giving her tips on self-help therapies, the family also has a crucial role to play in ensuring her full recovery. We know, Doctor. We know, but you see, there is nothing the Lord cannot do. We have been praying and fasting. And as the Lord promised, as much as we ask, He will give us from the abundance of His blessing. Mercy. We would want to take her for deliverance as soon as possible. Deking, I do not think that's necessary. What your daughter needs more than a deliverance now is a professional care for clinical depression. That's what she needs now. Doctor, these are things of the spirit. You don't understand it. This is not medicine. My daughter was possessed of evil spirits. And we're fighting, praying, waging wars to deliver her from their dreams. My enemies. They thought they would hurt me, but they lie. They cannot. They have failed. I would prove them wrong. They cannot. Yara kapata, sendri biyakata, sultu biyabalaka, halim mayakata. I bind them. Okay. Um. I'll be back. Franka. And it's a beautiful coincidence to be on this accident. What is it? The doctor who they brought her to happened to be a longtime family friend of ours, a renowned psychotherapist. The best you can find anywhere around. What does that have to do with a badly behaved, erratic, and rude girl who cannot keep her ass at a place? A lot, Franca. 
with what I have come to understand of late, Biando is not a badly behaved student. Yeah, I think she's going through some emotional stress that has led to a clinical health depression. Clinical depression? Yeah. That is what could make a beautiful girl like her to fight on the streets, break up with one guy after another, <laughs> and hardly have any steady relationship. It could be worse. It could be worse, Franca. Yeah. Come to think of this, Biando is a very bright student. Mm. Yes. But of late, her grades has most dived because she hardly concentrates in her class. That's depression too. Yes. Oh, is she busy thinking of how to prevent her several boyfriends from confronting each other? Or better still, thinking of, you know, the next cab driver to fight with? Franca, depression is a disease. It is a mental health disorder. You sympathize with the patient and not blame her. I think you really need to understand this. You need to read about it. A lot of people go through this. If you were to ask me, I would say that girl is possessed by an evil spirit. And all she needs now are prayers and a deliverance. Unfortunately, that is how you people let those people go through this, this, this suffering, this silent depression. That, that, uh, and, and rejection from family and friends. And that is not good. Whatever, Sophie. I wish her the quickest recovery. Can we go now, please? Amen. Get your sinful hands up, my daughter, you evil one. What do you think you're doing? Huh? I'm so sorry. You must be Gendo's dad. I've always wanted to meet you. Meet me? What for? Oh, you are the one who has been trying to initiate my daughter into your sinful satanic cult. Oh, Father Lord, blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we are saved. My daughter today is delivered from your satanic cult. Please, please, please I beg you. I'm, I'm not a cultist. Okay, neither do I indulge in satanic activities. I, I just love and care about your daughter so much. Did I hear you say you're from a Christian home? You have not read the passage of the Bible to encourage her since you've been coming here. All you do is read poems and sing worldly songs and tell me you're from a Christian home. Mom, Mom, please stop. Stop what? Why are you defending him? All people like him could offer is singing sweet words filled with lies. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. That's an evil spirit speaking. But by the time Pastor Eugene comes, we will have the delivery session in this hospital. Please. Daddy, no. No, 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 no. I don't want Pastor Eugene anywhere around me, please. No, that is please. The evil spirit talking there. That is the over the blood uh, of Jesus. I rebuke you. Uh, I'm not just saying. Like, Amen. That's the reason why Pastor Eugene needs to come here for the delivery. I don't want to hear that name, please. Yeah, but Daddy, please, no. My daughter, Pastor Eugene, is the only one who can save you. Please, I don't want to see. He's the only one who can save you.
That's what's responsible for her depression. A traumatic experience at a tender age. Wow. How did that happen? That was an excellent performance you displayed in church today. Thank you very much, Pastor. The revived man of God. No, I'm sure there's some demonic satanic manipulation somewhere. Sir, I think what you should be talking about now is how to arrest that so called man of God. But what if he denies it? I mean, I am so sure that he is highly respected by a lot of people who are going to back him up and defend him. And look at her, who's going to believe a story with her behavior? When she cries from reminiscences of
you know, flaunt around like he's some perfect saint, you know, sent from God to save women, especially. And I'm mostly here for the young girls that he's deceiving and tormenting, putting them through the same ordeal he's put me through. You know? Oh, Swiri, you are here. <laughs> Good to have you. Wow, how are you? Very I've been in touch with your father and he's worried that you are losing faith and you've not been coming to church. Yes. I lost faith because of you. Hmm. Huh. Wow. Well, we've been praying. Been praying for you to come back. I especially have been praying too. And here you are. Faith still works. Faith. I have come to expose you for everything you did to me oh. and what you're still doing to those innocent young girls. Mm. <laughs> you see, after all these years, I, I was thinking that you've come back to your senses. To my senses. I have come back to my senses. And I'm here to take my life back. <sighs> All these years. I've been miserable. I've lived a life of self-love and depression. I've caused so much pain to myself and to the people that love me. And for their love, I repeat them with so much hate. All oh, thanks to you. My life became gray and lifeless. You stole six years of my youth and left me in a pit of darkness. I've tried to wash myself of all the filthiness you left on me without any success. But now I'm back and I'm here to take my life back. Hmm. Well, anyway, I am very sorry. I don't mean to hurt you. You know, you were trying to resist. That was why it was rough. Anyway, but this time, I'm, I'm going to be sorry. truthful to yourself that this is not what you came for. You see, after six years I enjoyed you, I still can't forget how sweet and succulent you were. <laughs> I'm going to be soft. Just soft. I know you are more matured now, okay?
Yes. What is that and who are you? Good afternoon, Pastor Eugene. Yes, good afternoon. I am ASP Dan from the Pelemet Division of the Nigerian Police Force. So, how may I help you? Well, your confessions on the rape of Miss Biendu Ibekwe six years ago has been documented and has been submitted as evidence. Mm. So further investigations will be carried out to determine other victims. You are hereby under arrest for the rape of a minor, Miss Biendu Ibekwe, at the age the crime was committed. Psalm 105, verse 15. Touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. Really? Officers, arrest this man. Sweetie, you... This is a nice press visa to hell for you guys. Touch me not. Touch me. Don't touch me, please. You are sinners. Ah, um, miracles are real. I never believed that Biendo could be this happy for a sustained period of time. Well, I'm not so surprised, you know, while growing up, I always knew her as a lively and a lovely kid. Wow, no wonder. Yeah. So that brings out, she's rediscovering herself now. You know, um, Biandu is a lot more improved. You saw her? Yeah, I saw her in school last week. Oh. In lots better manner than less temperamental. And um, less temperamental. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I'm so happy for her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh -huh. Your prediction came right. I think the of doctor course. did a good job on her. Of course, sure. <laughs> you know, it's not all the time you tend to find a medical doctor who is a qualified clinical psychologist and psychotherapist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, I promise henceforth to take your analysis more seriously. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, darling. That reminds me. Is another notice ready? Sure, my darling. And I will gladly serve you tonight. I cannot wait. <laughs> Hey bro, my is one, my brother. My is one, my one, my one. You've been such a great friend, my brother. I really appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, a good friend begets one. If I am a good friend, that means you were first a great friend to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're probably not going to understand how you you've helped me and Biendu, like you've helped us a great deal. Those your advices, they may seem small, though, mm. but like seriously, they were very helpful. I'm happy, that. I'm happy to hear that, my brother. What are friends for? And I'm also very grateful for the progress Biendu has made so far. Yeah. You know, I love her voice a lot when she sings. <laughs> ah, Biendu can sing. I, can. I can't wait to see her back on the stage. Yeah, actually, she's uh, she started rehearsals. Already. Ah. Yeah, she has. And, wow. Uh, she's planning to get back on stage real soon. And she's going to come back stronger this time. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic, bro. I'm very happy to hear that. See you. Nice one. Nice one. Again. No, nice one, no. <laughs> Seriously, nice one. You know, great friends, you know, best friends are like safeguards, parachutes. They save you from a fatal fall. You know, friendship is sustained by good memories from the past. I always remember what kind of friend you were to me when we were kids. And that really helped me during those challenging moments. What if 
I didn't recover. No, that's not possible. I had faith that you would. Zimuza, you are a great friend. You're my best friend. Thank you for seeing me through this journey. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done without you being here with me. And I'm so sorry for all I put you through. No, you don't have to be sorry. I, I apologize for the times that I got so overwhelmed and I left you. I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Eugene, how could you? You know, honey, this is a crazy world. Hypocrisy has become the new test of wisdom. How could Pastor Eugene be so irresponsible and incorrigible? This is not a fair world. Hmm? Claim to represent God. They prophesy in the name of God. They read their Bible every day. If they could be this dangerous, then what hope do we have for humanity? <sighs> Mom, yes. Mm -hmm. My admission letter just came out to say to me, Oh, really? Congratulations. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> ah, you see? Uh, see? That's good. My That's faith good. in God is unshakable. But you see, those pastors who call themselves men of God, they are perverts, irresponsible, and they will go to hell. Oh.